This is desktop mode for Android 16 Baklava QPR2 Pro Beta, sorry, QPR2 Beta. And I just want to show it off a little bit. It looks really nice. They've added some features, so I don't remember seeing that up there where you got your, your battery, your Wi-Fi. Um, let's see, it fell, it fell asleep because I actually put the phone down. Um, and then up here you have your time and some other icons. You also have, down here, you have um, kind of like an app drawer. So if you click right there, all your apps come up. Uh, let's look at YouTube Studio. And it stuff is looking really nice. You can make it full screen now. Um, let's see what that option is. Okay, so you could... Oh, and <laughs> that's new too. So you can go back, or you could resize to the side auto there. You can also, like if you pull up Chrome, that window was already like that, so it pulled it up automatically. Let's see. Oh, and then you can also resize it by moving it all the way to the, the left, like that. So yeah, a lot of cool features. You also can get settings um, through here. I think there has to be, they have to be adding another way to access more uh, desktop features, but I'm sure that's hopefully going to come soon because it'd be nice to be able to like um, change the background and stuff and I did search to see if I could just find like desktop um, in here let's see so and and some of the apps I guess like this one oh there we go and it even has in the developer options it has a setting where it says like force apps to work well here um, so one of an app that I made is Phony. Let's find it. And it's just a PWA. It's a real simple app. Um, and I think, of course, it's going to show up okay because it's made for the web. Uh, and that's how it shows up on desktop. Um, so, so yeah, I think it's going pretty well. I'm assuming this is going to actually ship with the upcoming Android. Um, there is... A feature here that was released with the last beta which is I think multiple desktops so you can add desktops here which is kind of cool but there is no right click and that would be nice to be able to change your um, your background and also maybe to have some tasks some options down here I like that you have your navigation there the only thing, and another cool thing, so okay, so the phone's open, but now let's turn it on to uh, press the lock screen. Oh, and it took a little while, but let's see, if I, maybe if I put it down. So it should come up, let's, come on. So, kind of something with a beta rate. Oh, I ah, did it for just a second. Okay, we'll try one more time. You know what it is? It's um, my phone auto unlocks because of the watch. So let me get the watch off. Let's see if that'll do it. There we go. Okay, so we got the date, time. It's nice. That's a nice little uh, sleepy screen. And it kind of matches the aesthetic of the new Android. I think the new Android is just, it's really pretty. What One of the things I like about it the most is um, just the color. So, so if you can see right there, uh, just having that like blue bubbly colors, it's really simple yet like clean. Uh, so if you haven't downloaded the beta or you're kind of worried about the beta, it's, it's pretty stable now. I do, I did have a little issue with audio on YouTube that I'm going to submit. Um, but overall, it's a pretty great experience. I, If you need info on how to get the desktop mode working on beta, um, I'll just go over it really quick. I don't, I don't think I even need to show it. You just swipe down, go to settings, go to about phone, hit build six times, and then you go in your developer options, and you allow the windows to open. Um, if anyone is struggling with how to do that, I could make a, a quick little video. But thank you guys so much for watching. It's kind of kind of fun to to see where this desktop experience is going and I think this probably will be the last beta desktop video that I do
because hopefully the next one they ship will just be for everybody and everyone can see it. Oh, and I have this in my house and I'm going to build it soon. So if you guys are into 3D printing, um, stick around for that. And then I am also finishing up a Gajuino. So this is my uh, super clear housing for the, the display. Um, so a couple cool builds going on on the channel. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Rando Tech Nerd out. I will see you nerds on the other side. Bye.